The decision of the central government to withdraw the 2019 Personal Data Protection Bill, the PDP Bill as we called it, is a welcome one for several reasons. The most key issue being the practicality of a bill becoming the law of the land. India is a plural country and represented by members of parliament from various regions and political affiliations. Unless each one of these, or at least a majority, is on the same page, a bill can languish as a bill and never see the light of day as a statute. In a very wise move, the government had set up a 30-member Joint Parliamentary Committee, or JPC, to ensure all stakeholders got a chance to air their views and comment on the proposed legislation. The JPC made several recommendations to the PDP bill in 2021. It was possible to implement some of these by tweaking the draft, but several required a rethink of the legislation itself, like whether to include non-personal data in the PDP bill. On the other hand, COVID and the sheer development of technology have brought to the fore several other issues that need to be legislated upon by not just India, but countries across the globe. And the drafting of the PDP bill needed to be made more current with all these ground realities. What with ethics and AI, ransomware becoming more sophisticated, crypto and NFTs adding a commercial dimension to blockchain technology and the like. The draftsmen will now need to focus on several existing laws and regulations that cover information security, data pro protection, and other aspects of privacy. If we consider data as a movable property, would provisions of the Indian Penal Code regulate cybercrime or data theft? Will aspects of the Indian Telegraph Act move to the new draft? Then come the more sector-specific regulations issued by sectoral regulators. How would the issue of use of biometric information to verify individuals' identities while opening bank accounts be considered? Under the new law or the Aadhaar targeted delivery of financial and other subsidies Benefits and Services Act 2016. Would aspects of protection of customer data continue to remain in the Credit Information Companies Regulation Act 2005? The most recent activism of a regulator, CERT, or the Computer Emergency Response Team, with its recent directions on reporting cybersecurity incidents, would also need to be looked at. Should privacy and cybersecurity be two separate streams of law, or should they all dovetail into one comprehensive law on the subject? Social media intermediaries and OTT platforms have issues with the information technology, intermediary guidelines and digital media ethics code rules 2021. The new draft may be an opportunity to address these industry issues. The tasks ahead are wide, but this is an opportunity to address many recurring issues. It is, therefore, a very wise move by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, METI, to withdraw the PDP bill and go back to the drawing board and start afresh. On parallel ground is the drafting of the Digital India Act, which will update and replace the Information Technology Act of 2000. I'm interested in seeing the interplay between these two drafts. Various multinationals, on the other hand, are interested in seeing how Indian law will address issues like cross-border data flow, data localization requirements, and restrictions placed on certain services like VPN. On the hot issue of data localization, India already has sectoral laws that require data localization. These include the Reserve Bank of India's Directive 2017-18-153, issued on April 6, 2018. Under the Payments and Settlements Systems Act 2007. Then, 
Section 128 of the Companies Act 2013 provides that if a company maintains its accounting books and other relevant books and papers called financial information in electronic mode, it must store the same on servers located in India. If the financial information is stored in servers located outside of India, the backup of the financial information must be maintained in servers physically located in India. Then, the IRDAI Maintenance of Insurance Records Regulations 2015 also require relevant organizations to store data relating to all policies issued and claims made in India in data centers located in India. In anticipation of the possibility of data localization, METI had already issued the draft data center policy of 2020. This encourages the development of data centers in India. Till there is movement on the PDP bill and the Digital India Act, privacy will continue to be addressed by the information technology, reasonable security practices and procedures, and sensitive personal data or information rules 2011, and certain will address cybersecurity issues in India. The August 24, 2017 Guiding Principles of the Puttaswamy Aadhaar Judgment will have to wait to see their transition from case law to statute law, though I believe the wait should not be too long, as I believe the government is working overtime to make this a reality sooner than later. My good wishes to the draftsmen and women who will usher a true technology law framework in India and get India fully ready for its foray into the digital world.